Gasparilla Parade. That is what we're talking about today, so let's get started. Hi, my name is Michelle Babino, and I'm with TeamBabino.com with Future Home Realty here in Tampa, Florida. And today, we're going to be talking about the Gasparilla Parade. But if this is your first time visiting us, we'd like to ask you to consider hitting the subscribe button below and hitting the notification bell. That way you're notified every time we post a new video. Tampa, are you ready? We're about to be invaded by the pirates. For over a hundred years, Tampa has celebrated the Gasparilla Parade. The legend goes somewhat like this. Jose Gaspar was a pirate that came over from Spain. His nickname was Gasparilla, which means little Gaspar because of his short stature. In 1821, Jose Gaspar had decided to retire from piracy. He was splitting out all of his treasures with his crewmates. In the distance, he spotted a British merchant ship and decided this was going to be his last treasure. He went after the ship and then it was too late. It was a USS Enterprise disguised as a British merchant ship. He went to battle with the USS Enterprise and when he figured out that he would not win this battle rather than being hung by the hangman's noose, he wrapped himself in the anchor's chain and threw himself into the water. And now for over 100 years, Tampa has been celebrating the battle between the USS Enterprise and Jose Gaspar. There is a huge invasion in which the world's only fully rigged pirate ship, the Jose Gasparilla, sets sail up into Tampa Bay along with hundreds of smaller boats with pirates, cannons being fired, all with the intent to capture the city by kidnapping the mayor and holding him until he gives up the key to the city. Fun fact, did you know that the Gasparilla Parade is the country's third largest parade? There are over a half a million people who come into downtown Tampa to be a part of this pirate fest. The invasion will happen on January 26th, followed by the parade, and this will go along Bayshore Boulevard, going down into downtown Tampa off of Ashley Street. Check the link below so you could find out the best places to park, what times to get there. They do have two stages set up as well for entertainment, and make sure that you are ready to catch all of your beads. They do have a children's parade, which is held on January 19th, and this will happen along Bayshore Boulevard. I have included a link down below in the description so that you can find out uh, parking spaces and any information that you need for that parade. Your kids will love this parade as they go home with all the beads that they've collected from the pirates. On February 23rd and 24th, they will be having the Gasparilla Distance Classic, and there are plenty of other festivities that are going on between the middle of January to March, so make sure to check out that link below in the description. I hope you've learned something about the legend of Jose Gaspar, and we hope to see you there. Go ahead and click here to subscribe to our channel. Do it. Now click here to watch our last video. Thanks, guys. And people do go kooky to catch these <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'll take it out.